this mid boss is gonna make me. It's gonna make me hit something. Or break something, depending on what happens first. Impossible spell card, no item, run hype. But it wouldn't necessarily be a run, because I already got like 65 of them, but. You know. The problem. That will be fun to watch, you know, you can beat it without cheating. Yeah, but <laughs> that, that's the problem, right? The reason why I ask is because it's not really that fun to watch. It's like watching PDH. And I'm pretty sure watching PDH is a piece of shit, it's just like playing it, right? So I don't think that will be necessarily what I call fun to watch. But, you know, I'm not the one that's watching, so... Yeah, that's why I'm asking, because it really feels like it's something that isn't really that hype because of how much you are, like, how much you waste your time retrying. It's just like BDH, like, I don't think there is any better comparison than that. Especially because here they are even harder. So it's not even like BDH where you get the hype that, oh, he's about to do it. No, you can't even say that. You can't even be at the edge of your seat because they are so unbelievably hard that instead of being at the edge of your seat, you're probably going to be right at the bottom of your seat. You're going to be like, damn, when is this guy going to get good? But you know... I don't know. I could try it, I guess. I mean, I still need to wait for my damn SSD to arrive, and it still hasn't arrived, so... You know. While I wait for it, I can try that. I also really hope that everything works fine without problem after I install my SSD, which might not be, you know, the case, or maybe it will, who knows. No way to know until I try. So I gotta say that I know that I haven't been streaming for too long today, but I feel like this is gonna be my last try. Because as I mentioned some minutes ago, I'm extremely tired and I really just want to take a shower and go to <laughs> go to bed, honestly. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Sorry for the short stream. Although, well, when I say short, it's really just one hour shorter than usual. Well, I guess that's a lot. I mean, after all, a lot of things can happen in an hour. Like, for example, me actually getting this instead of sucking balls. But, you know, no way to know. There is also something that I want to do, and it probably is going to be a terrible, terrible idea. But I want to try it, mostly because I'm interested on the characters and the fact that I never ever read their dialogue. And that's playing as Kana and Ellen in Toho 3, Lunatic 1 Coin Clear Run. Yes, that's a terrible idea for two reasons. First of all, that game is hard as shit. But let's say that that wasn't an issue. The issue there is that Kana and Ellen are not really good characters as far as I know. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. 
So I'm pretty sure that the top tier characters in that game are Rikako and Yumemi. And Mima. I think those are the top tiers. So, yeah. If you attempt a no bomb lunatic or need a new striker strategy in this game that is quite powerful. Which one? I don't think I'm gonna do a no bomb lunatic. That seems like more than I can handle. I mean, I can do a no bomb hard, so. <laughs> you know. If I can do a no bomb hard, I don't think a no bomb lunatic is doable. <laughs> Not for the time being, obviously. But you know, feel free to share it. If you want. Oh, damn it. What a way to corner myself. Gotcha. Otter, if my sacrifice damage, but it makes patterns quite easy. You know, I'm not saying that I'm an expert at this game, I'm pretty far from it, but Otter um, shot type is uh, trash unless you use bombs. The Otter shot type in this game is really bad, and even if it can break patterns, it can only break patterns like specific patterns, not every single pattern and that doesn't help on the other patterns because here's the thing to actually get another release or well roar you obviously need uh, to have uh, enough spirits to do a roar that's already hard but even if that wasn't hard there are some patterns that that roar is completely useless and especially if you're using no bomb, that roar is even more useless. Because it means that it doesn't power up your bomb because you're not gonna be using it. So I will say that using Otter for a no bomb is really the a really bad idea. It's just a bad idea because of that. If I was using bombs, then yes, the Otter Except for Yomu, Yomu Otters is complete garbage. But if you're using Reimu, then yes, use Otter, it's completely brain dead, it's amazing. But yeah, not really good if you are going for a no bomb. And in fact, the, the Otter Roar was useful in the demo of this game. In the demo of this game, the spirits around you actually spin pretty fast. In the full release of the game, which is obviously this version, uh, they don't. They don't spin fast and most patterns, like for example this pattern. This pattern, if you use the auto release, is completely useless. This one, for example, even if it's not completely useless, it's really bad as well. Any pattern that doesn't have a slow start or a slow section for the bullets is gonna be really bad if you use Otter. So yeah, overall it's not really a good idea to use Otter if you're not gonna use Bomb. Just remember seeing someone break the final boss. Yeah, I mean... It obviously can break some patterns, but it's just like, for example, you're talking about the final boss. So, for example, the the laser spell card of the final boss, that I think is the third spell card, if I'm not mistaken, that spell card, the the auto release is completely useless against that spell card. For example, right? It's obviously pretty useful against, for example, the second to last spell card of the final boss. Yeah, that one that has bullets that literally stop, yes, 
it is useful there. But that's pretty much it. There aren't really many patterns where you could say, yeah, this this roar is really good. And again, it's not only that, it's the fact that you don't have it available every time you want. So, you can probably completely break one pattern of the final boss out of the 10 that it has, right? Maybe two, maybe you can break two of them, but since it's not permanent, it's just not worth it. It's sad because it would be worth it if the Otter Roar was as good as it was in in the demo. In the demo, the Otter Roar was amazing. But yeah. Not anymore. It was nerf. It was nerf before it even saw the light the light of the day. So it's pretty sad. A pretty sad tale. Pretty sad story. It always fills me with sadness to see how quickly the otter roar died in this game. Pretty sad. Just give me a neutral ass release. I don't mind. See, for example here, I used the Otter release by accident, by the way, I didn't mean to do it. And as you can see, it's not bad, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it didn't really apport anything to that, to that specific spell card, right? I mean, sure, it cancel some bullets but it would have been way more useful to use a wolf release a wolf release will have completely obliterated the spell card in a matter of seconds dark side of paradise wow that's pretty poetic dark side of paradise that's a pretty interesting way of calling hell. Damn. Alright, I like it. The dark side of paradise. Alright, soon. Y you won that one. You really win that one. Dark Side of Paradise. That's a pretty good name for like a game or a movie. Dark Side of Paradise. So I know that stage 4s in Toho games are usually really long, or at least longer than the, the other stages. But damn, this one is especially long. This one really really likes to... to hold on... forever. And let's not even forget that we haven't even reached the, the mid-boss yet. Well, there it is. It takes a while. Should I activate Roar here? Okay, let's wait a little bit and activate. There we go. The good thing is that Roar 
by darkening the whole screen, it makes it easier to see. And look, I... Did you see that? Come on, I know you saw that. Did you fucking see that? Yachi. Huh? What a piece of shit. I guess this is what happens when you mess with the tortoise. Damn it. Can't believe she actually killed me on her way out. What a scumbag. Damn, that was a no miss, I think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was a no miss up until that point. Which is pretty unfortunate. Because that's a pretty dumb dead. An incredibly dumb dead, in fact. It wouldn't do it justice if I should just call it a, a dumb dead. It was really dumb. Oh, holy shit, that was pretty close as well. Okay. Keep it cool. You know what, that works to me. Sure, it's not a capture, but who cares about captures here? We are not scoring. It's survival of the fittest. That's actually part of the lore of the game, by the way. Nice. Actually got the, the roar just in time. Alright. Okay, this... I don't want to shins it, but this so far is an amazing run. If it wasn't for damn, that dumb dead that I had, this would have been a no miss. All the way to stage 5. Problem is that, you know, stage 5 has that character, you know, Miss Mayumi, that, you know, it's a little bit of an asshole. Or I should say that the bullets that she throws are a bit of, a, of an asshole. Oh, damn it, I couldn't take down that fairy. No, that's gonna cost me. Or not, maybe not. Yeah, but that fairy has a human goose amount of, of health. I'm picking up a lot of spirits when I shouldn't be doing it. Damn it. You always forget. Always forget. Well, thankfully... Oh, that's right. Every time you you end a roar without dying, you spawn two spirits. Okay, never mind. The mid-boss spirit is saved. Well, I don't know if I'm saved. Because this mid-boss... With all these fucking arrows. Oh! Well, that was pretty fast. I gotta say. It was indeed incredibly fast. And look at this grace. With a grace like this, your back is never gonna get itchy again. Well, your back or shoes about any part of your body, I think. I also forgot that 
when you get a mid boss period, you should try to aim for a for a neutral roar. There is no reason to go for a for a specialized roar since you don't want it to last too long. So here, what I'm gonna do is, fuck, you're not the one that I wanted to pick up, but that's fine. Uh, I think I'm not gonna roar until the spell card starts, even though the non-spell is really hard. That's the problem, the non-spell is hard. So maybe I should roar here, okay, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, see, that, that's what I thought that was gonna happen. And here I sadly can roar, because it's too late. Try to roar with all these fucking TD arrows flying around. And, you know, Mayumi, you could have picked any any bullet type that you would like. There are tons of bullet types to pick in Toko, right? You had to pick the fucking TD arrows. You had to pick them. You actually had the need to pick the TD arrows over any other bullet type in existence. Good shit, Mayumi. I'm not salty at all. Oh, fuck. I dare too much there. That's fine. That's not an issue. If anything, I think I was destined to die once on that spell card, even sooner or later, right? Alright, so I have four lives. That's a pretty good one, I gotta say. But, again, Keiki is no pushover here. Keiki... It's definitely not something that you want to deal too much with. Yeah, Keiki. I know, right? Oh, and yeah, the problem here is that unless you have Roar, these Yin Yang Ors are extremely annoying to deal with. There we go. Yeah, because they. If you don't have that good of a range, they should start growing and they don't stop. Until your nuts are fully covered. Okay, so I wonder if I should go for the for the mid boss here. It never works. I know that you're supposed to explode right on her face. I don't mean that in a perverted way. But it's too hard, you have to time it perfectly. Though I don't think it should be a problem. Because I'm pretty sure I can get two more life fragments, right? I think I get two more life fragments after this. And if I only get one, then well, too bad. This section can be really, really hard. Thankfully, Marissa missiles make it look a little bit easier than it is. Because even if, you know, the range is not that good, the fact that the explosion is so big, really is. When you hit a low HP... Yeah, you're supposed to hit her at low HP, but it's still hard. Okay. So I have four lives, probably five at the end of the fight. Create. And then the wall spirit is like, damn, I don't want anything to do with art teachers. So 
So let's run away, Marisa. Will you look at that beautiful capture? Give me this. There we go. If only I could get enough on this one. You know, the worst part is that I know that this is a static and all you want, right? It's still so hard for me to actually figure out how the fuck to do this. Although the hard version is not as fucked up as the lunatic version, so I guess there is that. Will be worse. Damn. I see question marks flying at me. I not question marks, exclamation mark. Why did I say question? The other kind of marks. Gotcha. Ooh, and here Marisa's wolf roar is insanely good. Well, I mean, Marisa's wolf roar is insanely good no matter what, but especially in spell cards that involve Haniwas. They are especially good there. Nice, I captured that one and this is, that's it. There is no way I can lose here. <laughs> Gabi pregunta. Damn, you actually remember how to spell question in Spanish. Good stuff. You actually remember. Really proud. You know, I don't care about the capture here. I just care about not dying. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Not dying. Well, we... <laughs> We probably can go for the capture here, though it, I, it doesn't matter that much either. I also really wonder how fucked up it will be to do this when you are trying to go for a no roar run. A no roar run in something like this. Like, it's harder to not pick up the, the spirits than it is to actually not die. Anyways, that has been the hard no bomb. <laughs> I guess. Let's pick all of these little shits. Oh, and before I forget, no, you didn't see that. No, you didn't see that keyhole. You didn't see that one. That's private. She she thinks. All right. Yeah, the ending is playing. Don't mind the ending. Soon doesn't want you to see that. All right. There we go. We can bring the feedback. Managed to do it. Yeah, I managed to do it once too, but it was really hard. Kina created stuff before Keiki was a thing. I know, I know. Half of Keiki's spell couldn't look so offset. Does it? Can't believe it's the actual game. Yeah, I know, I, I meant exclamation mark. 